Let's talk for a moment about them just getting there. You mentioned that the Russell Celtics are the only other team to go to five straight NBA Finals. But the sport, it could not be more different. The league expanded from eight to nine teams during that Celtics run. Nine teams. There were now 30. So those Celtics had to win multiple playoff rounds to reach the finals only once during that stretch of time. That is not in any way to diminish the greatness of the Russell era Celtics. It is to point out the difficulty of the road these Warriors have traveled. And so Tom Thibodeau will give you the first crack at this. Must we say whatever happens over the course of the next two weeks or three, because they won't play again until a week from Thursday. Must we say right this minute, the Golden State Warriors of this era are among the greatest teams ever to play? I think no question about it. To get there five straight years, and I think they're also looking for things for, to motivate them. Obviously, the, you know, when you look at best record, the 73 wins, they check that box, back-to-back -back championships, and then, of course, the... Uh, uh, the three, the three peat that that's motivating them, but the Celtics, the the Bulls, they're all all great teams. Well, you'll see some of them. Obviously, these are the Russell era Celtics. That's Bob Cousy and Bill Russell. And now we're going back, really, to the earliest days of, of of basketball, to the earliest days of the NBA. And then, of course, the Showtime Lakers. That's Magic Johnson. We'll talk about him again in a minute, <laughs> under completely different circumstances. But these great Laker teams of the '80s, they didn't go to the finals five consecutive years. They never won three straight championships. Obviously, among the greatest teams of all time. And then uh, there have been many others that you would put into the conversation alongside them. And now Michael Jordan's Bulls teams, of course. In Chicago, they will use the phrase minimum eight peat, which is to say had Michael Jordan not walked away from the game voluntarily for two years in the middle of their run of six championships and eight seasons, maybe they wind up winning eight straight championships. The reality is we'll never know. They never went to the finals five consecutive times. So, Richard, as one who competed against these Warriors, what do we say of what they have accomplished to this point getting to the finals of fifth straight year? It is the most impressive thing that I've seen ever watching basketball because they've also done it in a way that is unique. They changed the game. They used the three-point line. The way that they drafted everybody and, and you know, in their core, Not everybody. in their core, mm. they drafted because it started with Clay, it started with Draymond, it started with Steph, right? And those guys made it such an attractive place that other people wanted to come. So when you draft your core, and now look who they're here right now with their core guys. So I think the way they did it is so impressive, and they've been professional, and also they've played the, the brand of basketball that other great players want to come. That's so impressive. And quickly, what do we say of the fact that they just did this? They just swept the three seed without Kevin Durant. Look, I understand that everyone wants to do this Kevin Durant dance back and forth, but they were a great team before. And that was I, – I, we don't have to talk about the issue. I want to focus on how great they are. But Kevin Durant makes them – unbeatable. Kevin Durant, to me, makes them the most unbeatable franchise that we have seen in modern day sports. I think that they are better than the Lakers three-peat. I think that they are better than, you know, the Bulls. I really and truly do, because if you look at what they accomplished and the amount of weapons that they have. When you watched, though, Tibbs, what we just saw them do was Steph Curry, first player ever to score at least 30 points in every game of a four-game sweep. Draymond with a triple-double last night. Boy, those guys look awfully good playing just as they did in this series. Yeah, and, and I think that's the mark of their team is they can win games a lot of different ways and to have Draymond playing at the level he's at and obviously Steph. But I think seeing how they rebounded the ball yesterday, they badly out-rebounded uh, Portland. It told you how badly they wanted to win that game and understanding how important rest is. Look, the reality of it is this. They now have nine days until they will start the NBA Finals, to your point. We don't know exactly what the status of Kevin Durant is. We don't know what the status of DeMarcus Cousins is. They could be bringing two all-league players <laughs> to their roster in time for the NBA Finals. We will see.